wrestling figure legacy. And today I have a tin of tiny teeny mates. There's some alliteration for you. It's WWE teeny mates. These little guys, that's what I'm talking about. And it's a full tin of them. It's an arena, arena display. I had to get this. I got it for about $20 only. Um, and also comes apparently with an exclusive glow in the dark macho man, Randy Savage. That's pretty unexpected. Well, let's see what it says over here. Um, inside each collector tin is uh, four packs of Teeny Mates, WWE collectible arena display, high quality storage tin, exclusive glow in the dark Macho Man Randy Savage figure, and it even does the math for you. That's nine figures in each tin. And they come in these little packets, and here's a little preview of the stand. See Brie Bella, Goldust, Kane, some others, Bret Hart, the elusive Bret Hart that has escaped me. I want him so badly. Uh, same stuff in the back. It's made by Party Animal, it looks like. And now I will show you some of the Teeny Mates I already have. So you can get the MLB style Teeny Mates. There's a few other brands. It's kind of a thing. I don't know how successful they are, but here are the ones that I have on me right now. I've had several over the past year. You can find these at almost every store. Walgreens has a bunch of them. They're typically sold in little blind bags, but this is the tin, which has the special edition Macho Man. You can see here we have Roman Reigns right here. Roman Reigns complete with this tattoo. Uh, this is the funniest one. It's Dolph Ziggler in what can only be described as lingerie. I mean, look at that. It even has like the stitching. I don't know if that'll. There we go. Look at that. It, look, it even has like the little V cut, like he's wearing some lingerie. I I honestly was floored laughing when I got this figure. Um, one of my favorites, Gold Dust. Looks really cool. He even painted the back of his head like that. Nice touch. These are pretty well detailed for just little things and related to gold dust. Whoa, there he goes. Stardust. There he is. He even has red eyes, which I had never noticed before. Now they have this nice new camera. Red eyed Stardust. Very good attention to detail. I miss Stardust, or rather, Cody Rhodes. Hmm. Him and Goldust had a good two years or so in the tag division. Stone Cold Steve Austin right here. He has his vest, the mean scowl, nothing on the back, which is kind of disappointing, considering he always had a skull design or something on the back, but it even says Austin, it's really hard to see, Austin with a little skull on the side of his vest. Very nice figure. All right, wrapping is off. Now is the nice, sleek, and slightly cooled, chilled, if you will, tin. All right. Cool. As the Teeny Mates guys embossed in the back there, and here's um, a little cardboard cutout thing for your display. Oh, that's neat. Comes pre-made, actually. It's uh, just a cardboard thing. That is awesome. They're even named. So uh, I'm not going to spoil everyone in the set, but you can see the names right there. Uh, I'll, I'll do a good shot when I'm done. So I guess um, I'm not going to read the instructions. I think I can figure this out, I would hope. That's good enough. Pan the camera up just a little bit. Ugh, there we go. This looks cool. I can imagine these looking pretty good on the shelf. So why don't we put the ones we already have on the shelf? All right, so what else have we got in this tin? We have, okay, wait. Let me get the, well, first, let me get these uh, little teammates out. These are the packets right here. These You find these in any store. These are just basically the store copies, it looks like. They look completely identical. There's the Macho Man right here in all his glory. He does indeed glow in the dark. I would hope so. Otherwise, that is kind of pointless. So he's got the nice sculpt here. I don't have Macho Man at all. Um, I hope his eyes are supposed to be like that with the sunglasses. <laughs> That's a pretty cool little thing. I'll have to test that out later and see how it goes. All right, let's see if this thing actually glows. Ready? Success. Now let's put this back here carefully and let's start opening these blind bags. So um, also with these, they come with puzzle pieces, which you can create this puzzle. It's kind of silly. I don't really understand the point. But it does tell you what some of the rare ones are, so let's just read those off. Um, Glow in the Dark Undertaker is 1 in 64 packs. Crystal Clear John Cena is 1 in 128. 
Alternate Macho Man, which I believe is purple, is one in 256. That's quite rare. And then Rock Metallic Gold is allegedly one in 512. So if I get a Metallic Gold Rock, that might be able to fetch $10 on eBay or something like that. I don't know how much these go for. I am totally going in for Bret Hart. We know Bret Hart's in this. Uh, mod normal Macho Man would be cool, even though Glow in the Dark Macho Man is already a part of my Teeny Mates collection. Okay, so um, it comes with a packet. This is a poster you can get. You get a Teeny Mates poster. And then the other side of the puzzle is a ring. So you can have a ring made of cardboard, if you wish, if that's your thing. Let's see what we've got here. Zero to three, sad onions. It's an Ashen's reference. Look him up. Whoa, look at that funky monkey logo. Very interesting. All right, enough of this. Look at that later. Who do we have in the first Teeny Mates set? And, ah, oh, sweet. This is a good way to start out. It's the Ultimate Warrior. Ultimate Warrior in green. That looks very cool. I like this. Not a bad start at all. So the brown hair, green. Looks like they try to mimic a little bit of his uh, tasseling on the boots as much as they could with this tiny little thing. He even has little pink details on the side. That is a good way to start. Teammates, who does the Ultimate Warrior come with? Ultimate Warrior comes with Dean Ambrose. There's Dean. Looking almost baby-like. Oh, it's kind of kind of off-putting. Usually he looks way rougher than that. He looks like a very angry temper tantrum throwing child with a receding hairline. Here we go, Ultimate Warrior. Puzzle piece. And who is that? The Undertaker. Okay. Undertaker and Warrior. There you go, there's part of the puzzles. I don't even know if I kept the old puzzle pieces. I'm not really interested in these as far as this goes, but there, there's an idea of how this stuff works. All right, pretty good start. Let's get Ultimate Warrior over here. No duplicates thus far at all. I don't have any duplicates. Let's check out the puzzle pieces. Okay, we got a Roman Reigns puzzle piece this time. Roman Reigns, there's that sexy beast. Put him over here. And let's take a look at the other puzzle piece. Gotta hope I get Bret Hart. Um, okay. All right, cool. Macho Man Randy Savage. We're doing pretty good with these puzzle pieces. Macho Man Randy Savage right there. And let's see who we got first. So they pack one in a uh, little plastic bag so it doesn't uh, mesh paint, which is a good idea. So one is free, so let's see what the free one is. Brock Lesnar is here with a Jesus cross on his chest. That does not look like the sword. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Complete with his very um, interesting hairstyle. And some of his tattoos, actually. They have his... It's weird. They did his, sh they did his shoulder tats. It's really hard to get this close to Mr. Lesnar, both in this form and in real life, I imagine. They did his shoulder tats, which are probably the, the least noticeable tats he has. They did his chest tat, but there's no back tattoo. It's kind of odd. I don't know. A lot of companies like to do the Lesnar in red uh, shorts. He had that look barely for a year and now he's had only only black shorts since then so it's kind of strange <gasps> yes it's Bret Hart yes 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 I've been after this thing for probably a year now I don't get these that often I get, pick them up once in a while and I got some spare change all right finally got Bret this is turning out great all the guys I would like Bret Hart even did his little sunglasses with like the white to make it look like the actual reflective lenses on those it's like kind of his hot pink attire. Almost looks like his Survivor Series 96 attire, if you've ever seen that match against Austin. Fantastic match. One of Brett's absolute best looks that needs to be made into a Mattel figure. Um, look at this. This is awesome. This is awesome. I love it. Finally got the Hitman Bret Hart. Perfect looking little teeny mate. Go right there, Brett. Right where you belong. That was a good packet. That was a good packet. We still have two more to go. Isn't this exciting? Watching a man open packets on the internet, isn't that exciting? And we have Sin Cara as the puzzle piece. I can only presume that's Brie Bella that he's in front of. I hope so. Um, it's hard not to find out what figure he got and get the, the thing out. Okay. And Stardust to match my Stardust teeny mate that I got previously. There's his red eyes. Pretty cool. And he looks like he's in front of Brie. So there you go. Or uh, Nikki. 
All right, who are we gonna say? I'm gonna say Seth Rollins because it just seems like I should get Seth Rollins to match the shield guys. Oh no, my first duplicate. It was bound to happen. Stardust. Well, can't win them all. Let's see how close he looks to the one I already had. I bet Cody Rhodes sees this in his dreams every night before he goes to sleep. Why did you turn into Stardust? You should have said no. All right, Stardust. All right, here. Eh, I kind of like Stardust, but at the same time, of the wacky Cody gimmicks, that was probably the worst one. Um. Okay. This is the pamphlet we don't need. And who we got here? Who do we have here? Big Show. Hey, at least I got uh, not two duplicates with that one. That shows you that they don't always come with the same people, too. So we got Stardust and Big Show. There's the Big Show. One strap singlet Big Show, too. That's interesting. Isn't there supposed to be a tiger tattoo? Is that the tiger right there? Is that the tiger tattoo? It just looks like kind of a generic explosion or something. I don't know. Big Show right here. All right, bald Big Show will be going in the first place spot up in the upper left corner. Um, surprisingly, no Cena yet. I guess time will tell. Okay, up goes the pamphlet. And both the puzzle pieces. All right, what do we got here? Hey, there you go. There's Bret Hart's head and Bray Wyatt. Two vastly different characters. So, you know what? Speaking of Bray, I bet this is Bray Wyatt. I got a Bray Wyatt feeling. Oh, that's... Whoa, that is not Bray Wyatt. That is Kofi Kingston. Um, He's in blue, but I don't think this is New Day Kofi. It might technically be, but it's probably... He wore a lot of blue beforehand. So it's just old school Kofi Kingston, I would say. They don't... New Day was a little too new for these when they were shipped. I believe these were from 2014, I think. So they were still in their like really crappy phase. Oh, 2015, so maybe they could have done New Day. I don't know. So there you go. 2015 teammates Kofi Kingston. If they do another set of these, they should definitely do a New Day with their bright pink and blue attire. Kofi Kingston. All right. Who is the last teammate? Let's find out together. Anticipation. It is, oh, oh, it's Undertaker. Okay, I thought it was Bray Wyatt. It is The Undertaker. The Undertaker, complete with his guy liner. This is la Latter-day Undertaker. In his trench coat with a hat, and it has a dark gray brim on the hat. Nice touch. Pretty good depiction of The Undertaker, I would say. Not a bad figure at all. So Undertaker will go right here. Next to The Ultimate Warrior. No body bag this time. There is the complete Teeny Mate collectible arena. Well, not so much complete, but there is what I got out of the tin box. What do you think? I think it's a pretty good lineup. Let's take a closer look at these. I like what I see here. Glow in the Dark Macho Man. Nothing. Uh, these are all, as far as I know, like the same rarity. So let's take a look at the packet real quick before we wrap this up. Uh, Big Show, Bray Wyatt, Bret Hart, Brie Bella, Brock Lesnar. Daniel Bryan, that would have been cool to get. Dean Ambrose, and then here is the Glow in the Dark Undertaker, 1 in 64. That would have been nice. Uh, Dolph Z Ziggler, who is. Okay, the dude's wearing lingerie, whatever. Uh, Goldust. Jay Uso, Jimmy Uso, I have one of those. Uh, John Cena, Tomato Head Kane, Kofi. This must be early, early New Day Kofi. And then here's. Whoa, Titanium. <laughs> Crystal Clear John Cena, 1 in 28. Okay. Macho Man, Brie Bella, Randy Orton, Roman Reigns. There is Seth Rollins, too bad to get him. Sheamus with the Mohawk, uh, Sin Cara in white. And then there's that variant, very cool, purple and blue alternate Macho Man, 1 in 56. Stardust, Stone Cold Steve Austin, Sting, I forgot Sting was in here. The Rock, Modern Triple H, Ultimate Warrior, who we have. And The Undertaker, who we also have. And then The Rock, Metallic Gold, 1 in 512. That's a rare one. So, yeah. Teammates, I think I might be done collecting these, unless I find them on discount at Walgreens or something. I got Bret Hart. 
It's kind of when I know when to stop collecting blind bags when I get a Bret Hart figure. Uh, he's my he's he's my main guy, my favorite. So uh, I guess I'll leave you with a little bit of a a, a fancy close up of all these teeny mates. Thank you for watching Wrestling Figure Legacy. Stay tuned for more in-depth videos about wrestling figures.